talking today to Pierre van der Hoven, who is the CEO of Tolentulu, which is a low bandwidth video service. Pierre, explain to me how this service works. Um, what we've developed via CSR in South Africa is technology to deliver video um, onto GSM networks. So we all know video works on cable. We know it works on 3G probably. It's not very, very good, but it works. But it currently doesn't work on edge. Um, so we have now technology where we can manage the bandwidth and we can deliver into low bandwidth environments. Now what that really means is we can go into rural areas uh, and it also means by managing the quality of the signal we can mm. manage the cost to the end user. So the potential for increasing the reach of videos is, is, is enabled by this kind of technology. So let's take a look at it. Shall You'll see, th this is a picture coming off of a feed connecting via my cell phone and that's running at 24 kilobits per second. In the past, having video, unbroken video, at that level is just, just absolutely unheard of. So Peter, describe what we're seeing here. It's pure, huh? Yeah. Okay, what we're seeing here is a Samsung tablet and a Samsung phone together with uh, social media interaction. This is running on a tablet with a bigger picture and this is running on a phone. Yeah. Um, and these, both these devices are connected via um, a mobile, normal mobile connection. Yeah. And it's running at around, the lowest is 24 kilobits per second. Which is bad. We don't want uh, writing. So Pierre, what are we seeing here? What we're seeing here is a test feed. Um, it's running at uh, often normal mobile network. Yeah, it's important to incorporate, incorporate uh, social media. So that this is uh, messaging and interaction. The and this is screen. this is on a Samsung tab. This is on a Samsung tablet. I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll show you on a phone. I can go. I can increase the size of the picture, and there it is. Um, yeah. This and then, then if we, we look at the, the phone, if we this is the same content yeah. running on a Samsung um, phone, the S, yeah. the S3 phone, the picture and again the social media interaction which we believe is crucial to this model. Who is the service aimed at? The service is really aimed at anybody who needs to communicate. Mm. Uh, visual communication, video, mm. so we're talking to content owners, we're talking to broadcasters, uh, we're talking to niche TV players. Um, but there's no limit. Mm. There's no limit to the number of channels we can have. So really, if you've got a viable uh, visual content, mm. you can have the channel. Describe to me in technical terms how it achieves this ability to deliver at low bandwidth. Yeah, essentially what the technology does is it does two things. It's, it's a Robin Hood principle. It steals from the rich to give to the poor, so it drops the quality when the signal drops. Mm. The second thing is it responds unbelievably quickly. Uh, so it doesn't, it, like it doesn't buffer like the standard. It doesn't buffer and it doesn't break. So yeah. the, the, the whole user experience is protect the audio, don't break the video, mm. but obviously there's a, there's a compromise on quality. And who owns the IP? The IP, it was developed by a consortium funded by the Technology Innovation Agency in South Africa and developed by CSR, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. Uh, it's the IP has been allocated to Tulu and Tulu. Uh, my job is to commercialise the IP and pay a royalty back to. So you'll be raising the capital. I'll be raising the capital, finding business models. Um, yeah. So when can we expect to see this up and well, running? We we have a we we have an alpha and a beta version up and running. Yeah. And we're hoping to launch commercially within the next three months.